Unlocking English fluency. The power of transitive phrasal verbs. Hello learners. Today, we are taking a deep dive into one of the key elements that can elevate your English proficiency to the next level. Transitive phrasal verbs. With the right understanding of these, you can not only boost your comprehension but also express your thoughts in a more nuanced and natural way. Let's get started. A phrasal verb consists of a verb and one or two particles. The particle could be a preposition, an adverb, or both. But what makes a phrasal verb transitive? Simply put, a transitive phrasal verb is one that requires an object to make sense. For example, in the sentence, she turned off the lights, turned off, is a transitive phrasal verb and the lights is its object. Transitive phrasal verbs are crucial in English for a couple of reasons. 1. Versatility. English speakers often use phrasal verbs in informal conversation, which means understanding and using these can make you sound more natural and fluent. 2. Precision. Transitive phrasal verbs can convey specific meanings that are not always possible with single word verbs. For instance, give up is not the same as quit, even though they are often used interchangeably. 3. Context. The same phrasal verb can mean different things in different contexts. Learning them can therefore help you understand the subtle shades of meaning in a conversation or text. Let's explore some common transitive phrasal verbs to put things into perspective. 1. Bring up to start discussing a subject. For example, he brought up the issue during the meeting. 2. Turn down to reject or refuse something. For instance, she turned down the job offer. 3. Look after to take care of someone or something. For example, can you look after my cat this weekend? 4. Put off to delay doing something. For instance, I keep putting off going to the dentist. And there you have it. That's a brief introduction to the world of transitive phrasal verbs. They're an important part of English, adding color and depth to the language. Understanding and using them will definitely bring you a step closer to sounding like a native speaker. So, keep practicing and stay tuned for more on this topic. Remember, the key to mastering English, or any language, is consistency and practice. See you next time.